Uh, first uh, group that I'd like to rec uh, recognize is uh, mom and daddy's immediate family, uh, my six brothers and sisters, and the 18 grandkids. So would I, I'd ask every one of them to please stand up right now, please. It's a relative in-law on my dad's side. Please, please stand up. Proclamation. 
Whereas on July 1st, 1946, Georgia and Carl McCain were joined together in the bond of holy matrimony. And whereas together they began to share a life of love, friendship, and devotion, through the years they have overcome many obstacles which have strengthened their lives. And whereas the dedication and loyalty that Georgia and Carl have portrayed to their family and friends, by exemplifying affection and giving one to the other with understanding and confidence, makes them an outstanding couple. And whereas on June 28, 1996, Georgia and Carl, along with their family and friends, will be celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary, we wish to join in rejoicing in the goodness of God in their lives for all these years and hope that all of their tomorrows continue to be blessed by Him in every way. And whereas on their special day, we make this wish especially to Georgia and Carl, God bless you in the kindest way and kept you in his care. He gave you something beautiful, 50 years to share. May you recall with joy the special things you've done and lovingly reflect upon your memories one by one. God bless you in the kindest way, and here's a little prayer, that God will keep on bringing you more happiness to share. Now, therefore, I, Fred H. Baden, Mayor of the City of Pineville, Louisiana, to hear about the proclaim Friday, June 28, 1996, as Georgia and Carl McCain Day. Signed, the Honorable Fred Baker. I do this quite often by letting someone else read the proclamation, especially a member of the family, because Rox and I sit down and we work these proclamations out to the best of our ability, and God gives us that, that, little, that little touch. But I have a key, Georgia. You can call come up here. I'm going to present you a key, but maybe the city of Pavel. But I like to call it a key to friendship. And inside the box is two pens, denoting the city with a pioneering spirit. I think you just spit y'all to a key, but y'all can base the pioneering spirit. You have a lot of quality and a lot of strength and whatever it takes to keep you going. Okay? I want to tell you something about old Carl McKay. <laughs> Don't ever think that this guy can't talk just as good 20 foot off the ground as he can on the ground. Because <laughs> I can attest to that. I'm an old plumber by trade, and I used to run across Carl when he's up the pole doing his work for the phone company, and I'd engage him in conversation. And I remember one particular day, he got so engrossed in conversation that he got himself a slid down the pole. <laughs> <laughs> but now, I'm going to tell you, that's, that's really loving to speak and to talk whenever you lose sight of things. But I want to say that I love these people. They've been beautiful to me. The history of our family goes way back. And I, I really want to say this, and I, I say this sincerity and with, with all the matter of love and compassion. I think so many times, why, the reason I've been so successful, that I've had people like Carl and Georgia praying for me. I think prayer changes things. I think it's a, per, a, a, a powerful force. And I want to say that I know that that's part of, part of the prayer team that stays behind me. And I, it's some kind of a force because I'm not that good. And I want to say that I thank them, appreciate them, and love them so very much. And it's just an honor for me to be able to, to make this your day in the city that I know you love so well. And who knows that, I guess in a way we all know, friendship has no boundaries. It doesn't matter where we live. We can love each other, support one another. And I love Rogue Gully. Rogue Gully's got quite a, a history in my family. And I'm not going to get started off on that. But I do, I love all the families on both sides. I love them all personally my first name. I appreciate you and love you and ask that all of you keep me the mayor of the city in your prayers. Thank you. <laughs> I think a man like Carl McCain and a beautiful lady like Georgia, the United States government ought to take them off the tax road. <laughs> <laughs> if you stop thinking about all the taxpayers, these people put on a tax road, they ought to 